let us understand what are the differences between tonsil and a lymph node. We've just learned that tonsils are lymphoid tissue, right? So they're lymphoid tissue. So are they exactly like that of lymph node or is there a difference between a tonsil and a lymph node in terms of structure or in terms of function? So if we see here, tonsil is nothing but sub epithelial collection of large masses of lymphoid tissue. So this is a large mass of lymphoid tissue, whereas lymph nodes are small masses of confluent lymphoid follicles seen along the lymphatic vessels. So these are usually small, whereas tonsil is a large mass of lymphatic tissue. Tonsil is not completely encapsulated, but it is partially encapsulated or hemi-encapsulated. But lymph nodes are having full capsule. So capsule is completely present in a lymph node and it is partially present in a tonsil. In lymph node, we have got an afferent and an efferent because it's a part of the lymphatic system. So there's an afferent and there is an efferent going from the lymph node. But in a tonsil, do we have an afferent? No, we have only the efferent. So efferent system is present in the tonsil, not present in the adenoid. Let's talk about crypts. So tonsils has got depressions on the medial surface. These depressions are called as crypts. So what are these depressions called as? These are called as crypts. The largest crypt is called as crypta magna. So the largest crypt is called as crypta magna. We have this in the tonsil, but do we have such crypts in a lymph node? Of course not. We will not have these crypts in the lymph node. So they are absent in the lymph nodes. In a tonsil, we don't have a typical a cortex and a medulla, whereas a lymph node, if we see, it will have an outer cortex and an inner medulla. So we will have a cortex on the outside and the medulla on the lymph inside in a lymph node. But do we see this differentiating factor in a tonsil? No. So tonsil will not have a cortex and a medulla, whereas the lymph node will have a cortex and a medulla. Growth curve is present. What do you mean by growth curve? Tonsils are known to have increment in the size, which is a natural history of the tonsil. Over a period of time, it can still be there and it might not even regress. It might be persistent. But lymph nodes do not have any such natural history where do they enlarge or they come down. It's only when there is infection or there is a proliferation due to any lymphatic disorders do they undergo enlargement and not as a part of physiological process. Tonsils can undergo enlargement as a part of physiological process. So this is the essential difference that you need to know in terms of tonsil and a lymph node. Now let us understand what is the difference between adenoid and tonsil. Adenoid is also lymphoid tissue and this is present in the nasopharynx. Tonsil is a lymphoid tissue that is present in the oropharynx. So basically why do we have these lymphoid tissues? These lymphoid tissues are present because they can guard our body from any incoming antigens or any incoming microorganisms and thus protect our body from invasion of these bacteria, virus, fungus or any other microorganisms. So until 3 to 5 years of age, the inherent lymphatic system, the inherent lymph nodes, the lymphoreticular organs are not yet developed completely. So until then, that stopgap arrangement of protecting our body is taken care by this ring of lymphoid tissue present in our upper aerodigestive tract. This group of lymph nodes is called as Voldeus ring. So we know we have adenoid in the nasopharynx, we have tubal tonsils in the nasopharynx, palatine tonsils in the oropharynx and lingual tonsils on the base of tongue. So this is an entire collection of lymphoid tissue. But how is adenoid different from that of tonsil? Let us understand. So adenoid is in the nasopharynx whereas tonsil is present in the oropharynx. So location wise they are different. Tonsils are usually a paired structure. So they are not single but they are a paired structure. Whereas you have adenoid which is a single structure. Now adenoid is a part of your respiratory tract. So they have the epithelium that lines the respiratory tract which is pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Whereas tonsil is a part of your digestive tract so it has stratified squamous epithelium. So the epithelium is also different in tonsil and adenoid. 
Tonsil we know is partially encapsulated, has crypts and has a capsule. But do you think it has, adenoids has a crypt and does it have a capsule? No, there is no capsule, there is no crypt, but it has furrows. There is no crypts, but there are small depressions which we call it as furrows. Now, what is the peak growth of adenoid? The adenoid undergoes peak growth at 5 to 6 years of age, whereas tonsils undergo their peak growth at 8 to 9 years of age. So, there is a difference in the peaking on when they undergo a physiological enlargement. Now, what happens to adenoid? It will stop to grow by 12 years and it disappears by 20 years. But do you think that tonsil is going to disappear? Of course, it will grow, but do you think it will disappear? No, tonsil does not disappear. So, tonsil will not disappear, but what will we see? There can be a partial regression at 18 years, meaning they can undergo, you know, shrinkage in size. They might get a little smaller in size, but do you think they will disappear? No, they will not disappear. 